Hi everyone, Bella here. In this video, I'm going to go over my Merch by Amazon sales for 2018. I know what you're probably thinking. Wow, Bella, we're over halfway through 2019. Why are you just now doing this? Well, it's because Merch by Amazon was not a huge focus for me in the last year, and I still made nine over nine thousand dollars doing it so i just want to talk about overall how merch can be passive and what i'm doing to sort of look through the numbers from last year to see how i can improve this year and also i just want to do a sort of a mini review of pretty merch pro because i just got pretty merch pro if you don't know about this this is an extension um, for Google Chrome and you can see it up here pretty merch pro I probably need to update my browser a little bit but anyways if you are not aware there is no way to see sales for a year on the merch by Amazon dashboard up until I got pretty merch pro look at this this is how I was doing it I would have to take my royalty check and then put it in a spreadsheet and basically add it all up and then calculate it this way which was mostly accurate but not a hundred percent the number that I was coming up with was nine thousand eight hundred dollars and the number that pretty merch gave me was nine thousand seven hundred twenty nine so pretty merch factored in my returns so let's just look at this overall 2018 I sold 2,569 shirts and my average royalty per sale was three dollars and seventy eight cents so one thing that I'm gonna do this year or at least try to do is get my average royalty up I would like this to be closer to four or five dollars 450 would be a really good middle ground for me um, and there's not a whole lot we can do about returns considering the fact that the printing quality is not the best and it smells like vinegar when you get a shirt. Um, but hey, you know, improvements are made over time. Um, this also is a really useful tool, this pretty much tool, because it's giving you all of this data here. Um, and I don't mind you guys seeing this. This is not going to give away any of my designs, and it's not that big of a deal. So each month, it gives you um, how many shirts you sold and what your royalties were. Um, and then you can actually click on that to view the individual sales. So um, you can see here that around fourth quarter, my sales jumped up in November and December. December was my best month. I made, let's see, $1,499 in royalties after everything. So my second best month was November with $992. And I think that that's something that is awesome because Think about being in the holidays, you have to buy gifts for people, there's a lot of expenses. We typically spend a lot of money in these months, so having some kind of income coming in would be awesome. So let's look at um, some of these other numbers. Um, average sales per day was only seven shirts. Um, and average royalties per day was $26.66. However, I mean, you know, that's that's not super hard to get to. So if you're on those lower tiers, you could eventually be up there. And one thing that I think is really, really interesting is how my 80-20 rule played out. So the 80-20 rule, you guys know 80% or 20% of your products are going to make you 80% of your income generally. So this says that 79% um of 26 percent so 2032 sales were generated by 80 products that's kind of crazy how those numbers almost work out perfectly um 312 unique products sold so at the time i was probably have around 800 designs live so 312 of the 800 sold and um let's see 27.9 percent of all live products okay so yeah, 27.9%. That's higher than I thought it would be. Basically, what this is saying is that 27.9% of my products sold. So, you can extrapolate that the other percentages did not sell. Um, let's see here. Average per month, 214 sales. Um, average royalties per month, $810. Now, I don't know about you, but some people make $810 by working a fast food job all month, 40 hours a week. So $810 is definitely nothing to scoff at. That's to about $200 a week that I was making off of shirts all year long. So 
I think that 2018 was a good year. I mean, I if you think about it, in 2018, I kind of started some uh, different businesses. I traveled the country. I was doing all kinds of different things, trying to explore what I really wanted to do. So Merch by Amazon genuinely gave me the money to not have to worry about anything else. Um, I know that's not a ton of money, but when you are minimalist and frugal and you keep your bills down and your expenses low, um, you can really live off a relatively small amount of money. Um, I don't have kids. I don't really have any payments for anything, so that's kind of nice. Um, I have bills like everyone else, but um, nothing overwhelming. So $810 a month was really paying for about half of my bills all year long. Um, record days. The highest day for sales was 27 sales in one day, so $102 day. I think I remember this day. I think it was, I want to say I was in Italy whenever this happened, and I was sitting there thinking, I'm on vacation, I'm living in Europe, and I just paid $102 in a day from t-shirts, so that's crazy to me, and the fact that this is out here and that people are not taking advantage of it is just insane. I have told so many people about merch by Amazon, not just YouTube. I mean, in like real life, I've been like, even people who are graphic designers, I'm like, hey, I see that you're putting all this work into this. Why don't you, you know, upload your stuff onto merch by Amazon? And it's that lack of, um, I don't know if it's willpower or motivation or just failure of, you know, just trying and not succeeding and you just, you're scared that you're not going to make it. Like it really, you don't have anything to lose with this. My expenses for the year for this were a about $250 and that is me trying to come up with expenses for my taxes because there's aside from okay your main expenses with merch by Amazon would be software that you use like such as pretty merch could be a tax deduction as well as any kind of photo editing software you, you, you use and um, graphics if you pay for the rights to commercial graphics or if you hire graphic designer so that's really it anything else is really just stuff that is you know unnecessary I didn't even have like five percent of my profit being taken away by expenses I don't know what other business you could really run like that because my Amazon FBA business does not run like that at all um, it's heavy on the expenses side um, Anyways, record months, my best month was, of course, that December 1499 so basically $1,500 for the month of December. Nothing to scoff at, definitely. Um, let's go down a little bit. So mostly I sold standard shirts. I sold 700, seven, I can't see that, 70% standard shirt, and um, looks like 23% premium shirt and 3% pop sockets and 2% sweatshirts. It says I sold 64 sweatshirts. I can't believe that. Um, and then long shirt, long sleeve shirts, 40 um, long sleeve shirts, so 2%. Now, most of my shirts um, were in black. Um, and then a good portion of them were asphalt. Those are just the designs that I or the colors that I feel like look best. Um, some seconds were navy, made up for 5%, cranberry 4%, and purple 2%, white 2%, and then silver or slate 1%. And then we've got some more 1%s here. Um, I really, really think that the Pretty Merch Pro is totally worth it after paying $10 to see this kind of information. Now, I don't know about $10 a month because I'm kind of one of those people who can see the data once and then just take the information that I need from it and then I don't really need to keep looking at it. I'm going to keep my subscription for maybe 90 days and see how it goes, but um, I will just kind of see. It, I paid $9.99 just to get access to this information and I think they have deals sometimes where they go half off for the year and you can get the subscription for like 50 bucks. For 50 bucks a year, I think it's totally worth it. For, for 100 I don't really know if it's worth it. Um, I'll kind of see as I go. Okay, so this is what I think is profound. One of my designs, one design made me um, $1,799. That is insane. Um, it says I sold 476 of the shirts and they're all in the same color and most of them were women's. Some of them were men's, but most of them were women's. Um, and this was a standard shirt. So I have actually just upped the price on this shirt, fun fact, for 2019. Um, because 
because it is my bestseller and because it is ranking really high um, in the search results. And I think it's Amazon's choice. Um, if you can get that little thing on your shirt, then you're you're in good shape. Okay, so the second shirt made up still a pretty big portion of royalties for the year $424 for the year um, and that's sold in two different colors and then we've got one that made up $417 you get the point okay so what you have to consider and this is what a lot of people like are hard on themselves about is that okay yeah these are my best sellers but think of all the crappy shirts that didn't sell and that's where your time gets eaten up with merch so my best sellers i can honestly say that i didn't spend any more time on these than i did the rest of the shirts so what made these shirts sell so well was the fact that they were one of the first ones of their kind first one to make it on the market and they were a decent design not amazing decent um, all of my designs are based on either plain graphics or like meaning a picture and words or just words um, I don't really go heavily into details for my shirts that's how I do it um, you can do it any way you want um, one thing that I started doing was I stopped trying to compete when there's when I type in something and there's already 300 shirts even if I make a great shirt, it's so difficult to get those initial sales and to get to the front page that I just move on to the next thing. Now, if you type in something and you see that, wow, like, oh, there's only one person and their design kind of sucks. I think I can do better than that. And it looks like they're getting sales. That's where you want to enter the market. Um, don't try to compete where the market is already saturated and if you can branch off say you're thinking about a concept say you're thinking about snorkeling and you know there's a lot of snorkeling shirts that are pretty good but then you think about snorkeling and you want to go even a little bit deeper and just go into like snorkeling instructor then you have a whole nother category of shirts to make so um, I guess what I learned from doing this for a couple of years is that people <laughs> will buy anything and the design doesn't necessarily have to be the best. Um, it helps for good designs, but one thing that you can really focus on is getting yourself a, a pack of quality graphics. Sometimes you can get a pack of graphics with 2,000 pictures in it for $20 and then you can use those pictures to make as many shirts as you want. Um, so just keep that in mind. I'll scroll down a little bit so you can see some of my other earnings. Oh wow, one shirt sold 40 times and it was a cranberry shirt. That's kind of cool. Um, and then I've got some purple ones, some different colored ones, some green. Um, but most mostly um, looks like all of them are in black or asphalt. Um, looks like some may be in white, I guess. Oh, long sleeve, it won't show. Um, but anyways, yeah, that's kind of my little um report for 2018 now i will say that pretty much is pretty much pro rather is so far definitely uh worth the money um just to get this information um i think that it's a really nice tool that you can see how your business operates and um i'll definitely be coming to you with an update for that but these were the sales for 2018 you can see up here and you can sort by last 14 days, this month, previous month, whatever. So, I mean, I think it's just really, really cool. Now, one thing that I'm going to do differently in 2019 versus 2018, and I know we're already in August, but think about it, August, September, October, November, December. We've got five months left in the year. So that is a time to really buckle down and get those sales for fourth quarter. Um, get plenty of shirts uploaded currently I think I have about 1100 shirts uploaded when I'm really hustling I can upload 100 shirts a day um, and I prefer to just do basic designs nothing that is overwhelmingly complicated because your time can get sucked up pretty quickly um, but anyways yeah that is how I made basically an extra 
um, $9,000 in 2018 doing merch by Amazon. So if that seems like something that you can get into, just, um, you know, follow this channel for content. I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe. I make videos about merch by Amazon, Amazon FBA, reselling in general, um, my life basically as a human, an entrepreneur, a girl, a 24-year-old just trying to navigate uh, the e-commerce world. So if this was good, I would appreciate a thumbs up. Thanks so much, guys.